Hi, my name is Brian. This video is an overview of how you can use Power Photos 3 to quickly and easily edit the metadata of photos in your Apple Photo Library on the Mac, including titles, keywords, and captions. This is already possible using the Info window in the Apple Photos app, but I've always found it to be pretty clunky, especially if you're trying to go through and add information to lots of photos at once. So Power Photos is aimed at letting you chew through lots of photos very quickly, either one at a time or in batches. Let me show you how it works. You can follow along if you'd like by downloading Power Photos for free from fatcatsoftware.com. Here's Power Photos running on my Mac and showing me the contents of my photo library. Note there's no separate library maintained by Power Photos. It acts directly on your existing photo library, so all your changes will be seen in the photo app as soon as they're made. If you select a photo, you'll see that the inspector pane on the right shows a whole bunch of information about the photo. This includes basic attributes like file name, file size, places, dates, and so forth. The section we're interested in is labeled metadata. It has three fields, title, keywords, and caption. Photo's title is usually a very brief label you put on the photo, and it's displayed underneath the photo in the grid view when you browse through your library. Keywords are aimed at helping you categorize your photos into types and groups. They're very flexible, and you can define keywords however you want. You can assign any number of keywords to a single photo. Once they're tagged with keywords, then you can easily find them using the search function, either in Power Photos or Photos itself, or by creating a smart album. Lastly, captions are another piece of text you can attach to a photo, but are typically used to add a longer description to a photo, kind of like writing a sentence on the back of a photo to tell a bit about it. Despite the name, captions don't get drawn on top of your photo or anything. They're just attached as another piece of data or, or used in photos some places, like when you post to a shared album. To start editing, click in one of the fields. I'll start with the title here and just start typing. When you're done entering a title, hitting the tab key will move down to the keywords field. If you already have some keywords in your library, then when you start typing one, PowerPhotos will autocomplete any keywords that match the prefix that you've already typed. You can press the tab key to accept the auto completion, or if you want to enter a new keyword, press the comma key, and that will transform the text you've typed so far into a new keyword for the photo. If you want, then you can start typing again to add a second keyword and so forth. Hitting tab again puts us in the caption field. Under a caption here, and now we've got info in all three fields for a photo. Now, when designing this feature of Power Photos 3, one of my main goals was to allow people to edit any number of photos they want without their hands ever having to leave the keyboard. So if I hit tab one more time, Power Photos automatically advances to the next photo and returns the keyboard input back up to the title field at the top. I can then enter in info for this photo, hitting tab after each field, and then hit tab again to advance to the next photo and so forth. If you want to go backwards, pressing Shift Tab will go the opposite direction, and any time pressing Option Tab will go directly to the next photo, but keep the cursor in the same field that you're currently in. You can do this editing while in Grid View, List View, or when viewing photos full size in the Photo Viewer. To speed things up even further, let's say you're only interested in entering titles for your photos. You don't care about keywords or captions. What you can do is click this little lock icon next to the keyword and caption fields, which will disable them, leaving only the title field enabled. Now you can go straight through editing just the titles really easily. Just type, then tab, type, then tab, type, then tab. And you can chew through a lot of photos really quickly like this. Okay, so that shows you how to enter info for individual photos, but Power Photos also lets you edit your photos in batches. Let's start by selecting a group of photos, and you'll see the inspector changes to show a different interface for batch editing your photos. To start off simply, let's just type in a new title here. What Power Photos does is display a preview over in the photo browser of which photos will be changed and what the new titles will be. Those are shown in green and bold text under each photo. So just a preview and nothing's actually been changed yet. If you then click the apply button, then it will go ahead and commit those changes to the photo titles, and you'll see the new titles take effect in the browser. But you're not limited to assigning the same title to every photo. Power Photos lets you set up a template that will let you include attributes of each photo into its own title. You can do that by dragging components from the list down here up into the template field. 
one common thing I've seen lots of people want to do with their photo titles is putting the photo date right into the title, which can make them easier to sort later if you export them to a folder on your hard drive or something like that. So let's set this up so each photo has the year, the month, and the day included in the photo titles. I'd like to have them separated by hyphens, so I can just type a hyphen in between each one of these. If you keep an eye on the photo browser, you'll see that the green preview titles updating with the new titles as I change the template. You can see that the photos taken on different days have different titles, for example. Oh, I don't want the name of the month to show up. I'd rather have the number. So I can change that by clicking this little menu arrow on the month token and switch that over to the numeric style. There are a bunch of other bits of info you can add as well, such as the photo's original file name or title, the height or width of the photo, etc. If you have a series of photos, you can also add this incrementing counter, which will start at one for the first photo and count upwards for each subsequent photo. Okay, I think I like the way this is set up, so I'll hit apply, and there we go. All the titles have now been updated. One other good thing to know if you change your mind right afterwards, undo is supported, so you can press command Z and that will revert the titles back to their previous state. So that's editing titles, which leaves us keywords and captions. Editing captions is pretty much identical to titles, so I won't walk through that. Let's look at keywords instead. I'll select this batch of photos again, click the keywords tab, and what Power Photos shows here is a summary of what keywords are already assigned to this batch of photos. You'll see each keyword has a number next to it. That indicates how many of the selected photos already have that keyword assigned to it. For instance, seven of these photos have the keyword from Mobile Me assigned to them. Remember Mobile Me? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Anyway, from here there are a couple ways to change your keywords. If there's a keyword that already appears in this list, you can either click the plus button to add that keyword to all the remaining photos in the batch, or use the minus button to remove the keyword from every photo in the batch. If you change your mind after clicking one of these, just click it again to revert back to the original state. If you want to add a keyword that doesn't appear in the list, click the menu down here that shows all the keywords in the whole library. You can choose any one of those and add it to the selected photos. Or if you want a brand new keyword, select the new keyword item, enter your new keyword, and then click OK. Again, you'll see as I make these changes, they're previewed in the green bold text in the photo browser on the left. Once you've made all your changes, click apply to update the photos. One last handy tip when it comes to adding info to your photos. You can combine the editing specter with Power Photos search engine to more easily hone in on the photos that don't already have the information you want entered for them. For example, if you're interested in adding captions to your photos, but a bunch of them already have captions, you don't want to waste time skipping past the ones that already have something entered. So what you can do is click the search button up here, and then set up the search so it reads, caption is empty. And that will show you only photos that don't have a caption assigned already. This makes it much easier to go through and ensure that every photo has a caption, if that's what you're looking for. There are a number of different things you can do here, such as limiting the search to only videos or only photos, if that's what you're interested in, filtering out photos that don't have any keywords, and so forth. So that's an overview of the new editing features in Power Photos 3. You can try this out for free by downloading Power Photos from fatgassoftware.com, and the free version will let you edit batches of up to 20 photos at a time. Purchasing a license will then allow for unlimited edits, as well as unlocking the other premium features like merging libraries, copying albums, removing duplicates, and exporting. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at fatcatsoftware.com. Thanks for watching.